Good morning and praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Good morning again and praise the Lord. We welcome each and every one of you that's here in the sanctuary this morning here at the Burdekin Church, as well as those that's joined us this morning virtual via Facebook Live. We welcome you here at the Burdekin Church for Sunday School at 9 a.m. and morning worship at 10 o'clock a.m. Full stream via Facebook Live. Yeah, 1450 America Road, Henderson, North Carolina. You can come where this Bible word about his preaching and talk to reach all. That's a part of love of God, and we magnify the name of the Lord. If you'd like to make a donation to Gertrude Church, please send to P.O. Box 526, Henderson, North Carolina, 27536. Or you can cash out at dollar sign G.R. Henderson. And may the Lord bless you real good. Announcement, uh, this Saturday coming up, I believe, August 7th, is the Beckford Community Health Fair. That's Beckford Medical Center. They have a community health fair from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, that's 176 South Beckford Drive, Henderson, North Carolina, 176 South Beckford Drive. That's community health fair, COVID-19, HIV and diabetes testing, blood pressure check, and quite a few other things. So again, that's the Community Health Fair on Beckford Drive at Beckford Medical Center. Amen? Amen. Let's stand if you want to pray at this time. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, Lord, and what you're going through. We bless you anyhow. We praise you anyhow. No matter what we're going through, no matter what's on our minds and our hearts, Father God, Lord. This day, this hour, we come into your house, Father God, Lord. So we give you all our care, everything that's burning us down, Father God, Lord. We give it to you, Father God. There's nothing too hard for you, Father God, Lord. With our minds laid up, Father God, we thank you, Father God, for us have the mind to come, Lord, to worship you, to come and pray, to come to hear from you, to get instructions from you, oh God. We thank you this morning, Father God, for every heart to see, Father God, those that are watching. First, we call that you to bless them really good, Father God, Lord. Bless them really good, Father God, Lord. And it was a word for them, Father God, Lord. We thank you in advance, Father God, Lord, for your grace and your mercy, the joy, your peace, and your love. We bless you for it, Father God, Lord. We thank you and we're grateful for it. Right now, Father God, those are our prayer list, Father God. You know their needs, Father God, Lord. We know what they in need of, Father God. So, right now, Lord, do what needs to be done, Father God. Most of all, that your will be done, which is the best thing that could ever happen to us, Father God, that your will be done. Because your will is going to get the glory and out of all, no matter what the situation may be, Father God. So we give all the glory and praise, Father God, Lord. Forgive us, Father God, Lord, for anything we said and done, Father God, Lord. We are sorry, Father God, Lord. And we don't want to do it no more, Father God, Lord. Help us with our mind, Father God, Lord. Help us with our mind and our heart. Let it be, Lord. So we're going to choose some message to you, Father God, Lord, to hear instructions from you, oh God. Be with us, Father God. Keep us and guide us, Father God. Teach us, Lord, for you are the comforter, you are the counselor, Father God. Your spirit, rest, rule, and abide in the name of Jesus, Lord. Somebody came, Father God, maybe crying. Somebody came, maybe wounded. Hurt, Father God, but Lord, they come to the right place. They come to see you. Father God, so in the name of Jesus, Father God, Lord, bless them really. Lord. Bless their soul, Father God, Lord. Save in the name of Jesus, Father God, Lord. Deliver, Father God. Heal in the name of Jesus. Our minds, they don't give them one accord, Lord. Two or three, God, in your name. You will be in this, Father God. So we bless you, Lord. We magnify your name, Lord. We love you and we praise you, Father God, Lord. We acknowledge you as being God. We reverence you as being Lord of all the King of Kings, Father God. You have all power. You have all authority, Father God, Lord. During this death of Harry and this COVID-19, Father God, you are still in control. You are still God. You still are master, Father God, Lord. There is nothing too hard, Father God. So, Lord, keep us and protect us, Father God. I know that. I love when our family, our church family, for those of love that don't know you, Father God, Lord, you still is in mercy and mercy their way. So, we thank you, Father God, for that. We give you all the glory and praise. You walk you on to this house, Father God, Lord. Do what needs to be done. Say what needs to be said. Let your spirit rest on your heart. Dwell down on this and feel someone today, Father God, Lord, in your name. 
He did God the glory. We believe, Father God, that you are going to do some great things, Father God, Lord. While everything else looks like it may be bad, you are still going to do some great things, Lord, in our lives. That you will get the glory out of it. And we just believe it. We can receive it, Father God. In your name, Lord, we pray. We give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will ever love and trust him this presence
ask you to stand for our scripture reading, which is coming from Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Starting in verse 23. Ephesians 4, verse 23. When you have to say amen. I heard one amen. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23. If you have it, please not for saying amen. amen. And it reads, And be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you may put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not, let not the sun go down on your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the things which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed to the day of redemp redemption, that all bitterness and wrath and anger and claymore and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Amen. Amen. Let your name say, neighbor. Neighbor. How are you going to do right? How are you going to do right? With a new one mind. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
you be wondering what happened to my arm. God saved me burn on my job. I tell you, God is still good. Yes, Hallelujah. It could have been worse. It could have been the burn But Lord, I thank you, Jerry. I thank you. I will praise you today. We thank you. Yes, my arm is looking at my face, my Lord.
finished creating the earth and finished making man in his own image, have given man the test to take care of the God. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. But one thing he did, he took man and performed the first operation with him, didn't he? Amen. The Bible says he put Adam into a deep sleep, took one of his ribs, and began to create a full woman. Hallelujah. For man. Isn't that what he did? Praise God. He did this. Amen. He put them together as one in the God to maintain it, to keep it. And the Bible said they were naked. They were clothed not. Hallelujah. But, praise God, they were the shame of the way they look. They was the shame of their appearance because they didn't know the difference between good and evil. Hallelujah. So here we begin to pick up in the third chapter of the book of Genesis. We found, praise God, a little serpent on the side. You know, I don't care how much you try to do good, there's always somebody around you to try to pull you down. I heard the writer Paul said, when I would do good, evil was always present with me. He went on to say that when I thought that I was doing that which was good, and when I found out I was doing the things that I hate. So, amen, everywhere we go, praise God, there's always going to be the devil trying to change our mind. Trying to deter us from giving God praise. Oh, Y'all don't hear me today. Hallelujah. The devil will try to say that man is not feeling good. Now, trying to tell you to stay at home. Now, and when God gives you the ability to make choices for yourself, now, you choose to stay at home or you choose to do now, whatever praise God you see fit. Now, but when I look in here, hallelujah, I see the Bible of the serpent. He was most subtle than any piece. He was crafty. He was smart. He was a slickery, a trickster. He was all of these things. And he began to talk. Hallelujah. Praise God to the woman. And as he talked to the woman, amen, she began to tell him that we can eat of the fruit of the trees. Praise God in the God. Hallelujah. She said, but in the midst of the God, there's a tree that God put there. And he told them not to eat thereof. Now the touch. They praise God or you will surely die. But the serpent came back on her. Praise God. He began to talk to the lady. And said, honey, you not going to surely die. Praise God. You see how the devil changed, praise God, the word God. And trying to change the meaning of what God is saying. But let me tell you something. You got to know the word of God for yourself. You got to know what's right and what's wrong. But one thing we must understand, amen, not to give place to the devil. Don't sit and have a conversation with him. Because he already know your weaknesses. He already know, praise God, all about you. The Bible says resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Don't sit and entertain him. Tell Satan to get thee behind me. You ain't got nothing to tell me, praise God. Eat. Sit there. And she began, praise God, to listen to what Satan was saying. Oh, you ain't going to die. <laughs> what did God say? Now, praise God. Amen. You not even in listening, amen, to the word of God. God said, if you touch it, you will die. <laughs> The devil said, no, you ain't going to surely die. Praise God. He said, but your eyes will be open. In other words, you will be just like God. You will know, amen, good and evil. Praise God. And you know how it is. We have a desire to be more than what we are, who we are. We have a desire to know all things. Praise God. Amen. So the devil was encouraging her. Eve, if you just take a bite, you're going to be just like God. 
You're going to be independent. You won't have to depend on nothing. But when she looked at the tree, you know, praise God, how the devil, amen, how he projects things. Amen. To you, praise God. It was, amen, good for food. I don't know what the fruit it was or what type of tree it was. But all I know that when she looked at it, it was good for food. It looked good, praise God. And not only did it look good, amen, and good for food, but it was pleasant to the eye. See, the devil always making something that looked good to you because he realized that if he can get you, hallelujah, the lust with the eye, the lust with the flesh, amen, that your desire, amen, would make one, amen, that, amen, make one wise. The devil wants you to know, praise God, that hallelujah, with this fruit, if you eat it, you're going to be wise. You're going to be just like God. You're going to know good from evil. But right now, Eve didn't even know that she didn't have no food. Because all she knew was innocent. That dispensation that God brought her in. Hallelujah. But he said, go ahead on eat. Amen. Eat the fruit. Don't you want to be wise? Amen. Don't you want to know the difference between good and bad? Go ahead only and take a bite of the fruit. But we must understand that covenant was made with Eve. It was made with man. Hallelujah. No doubt. Adam had told her. Hallelujah. What God word said. Because when you read your Bible, you will read, praise God. That God told Adam, and he didn't tell Eve, hallelujah, but Eve, being the wife of Adam, he began to tell her what thus say the Lord. So she knew, praise God, that God forbid her to eat of that tree. But nevertheless, the devil painted such a good picture. She made the wrong choice. He painted a picture within her mind that everything is all right. It's going to make you wise. But praise God, the devil do the same thing to you and to me. If we allow him to, if we sit and listen to him, he will paint a picture in our mind that looks so beautiful, looks so innocent, that we will say, all right, I'm going to do this thus and so. You see the devil, got to get it to your mind. I heard God say, let this mind, hallelujah, be in you. Amen. The mind of the Lord Jesus Christ. The mind to do the will of the Lord. Saints of God, don't give place to the devil. Don't sit there and listen to him. Hallelujah. Because if you listen to it long enough, amen, listen to what he presents to you. See what God presents to you. He'll cause you to fall. But today, we may have made our mind that I'm going to serve the Lord. If I live, I'm going to live for the Lord. And if I die, I'm going to die for the Lord. But here I see that even as she bit the fruit, hallelujah, she reached over and handed some to Adam. Wait a minute, Adam. You know the word of God. You know what God told you. Why are you so willing now? Amen. Praise God to eat the forbidden fruit. What's wrong? Are you doing it for your wife? Are you doing it because you want to become wiser? Why are you doing it? But Adam took the fruit and because the covenant was made with Adam, he ate the fruit. Cooked God from Zion and immediately he was aware of what was good and what was evil. He was aware, praise God, that he had made the wrong decision. He looked down at his set and saw 
Lord. He didn't see the light of the Lord. Somebody said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He looked at himself and he saw that he was dead because the light and current that God gave him, he had snatched it off and he realized that I don't have no clothes. Come on me. Let's find a fig tree. Let's take the leaves of the fig tree and sow us an apron because we are naked. But let me tell you something. God knew it before they told him because he's omnipotent and present. He's everywhere and he knows it all. Good God from Zion. God came in the evening time. The time he normally come to check on Adam and Eve. Scrolling. Amen. Through the God. Hallelujah. I heard that even Adam could hear the voice of God. Could hear the footsteps. Go look like when you do something wrong. You hear it see. Amen. In every mistake that you made. Praise God. But Jesus, he was coming through the garden. He asked the question. Abraham asked the question. Adam, where are you at? I don't see that. Adam, why are you hiding behind the bush? And then Adam opened up his mouth and said, I'm hiding because I'm dead. I'm hiding because I made the wrong choice. Hallelujah. God so well. Adam, who told you that you were naked? Have you ate of a tree of good and evil? Good God. Adam could say no. He could say, Lord, I didn't eat. He said, but let me tell you something. I got to try to pass the buck down. I got to get this thing off me. He said, somebody calls me to do it. He said, God, you remember that woman? That you created for me. Now yeah, he's trying to play God and the woman. God, you remember the woman that you made for me. She gave it to me. And I did it. Can I add you just a little bit? Abraham, you didn't have to eat it just because your wife gave it to me. You could have pushed it aside. But because you wanted to know what was good and what was bad, you ate it anyhow. But amen, he was deceived. But you willingly took that fruit and you ate it. It didn't say Adam forced it. Then say Adam pushed it back. They say he took it and ate it. Knowing the word of God, sex is a bad thing. When you know sin is sin and you do it anyhow, when God warned you and told you and you do it anyhow, you never suffer any consequence. Let God break upon you. Yes, yes, I made the wrong decision. Some of you made a bad decision this week and you had to suffer the consequences. Some of you break God. Made good choices and was blessed. But let me tell you something. When the devil began to whisper in your ear, tell Satan to get back, Satan. I'm here to give God praise. You need to meditate on the word of God. That's why God picked up the pen and he wrote the Lord's prayer. Forgive me today, not yesterday. He picked 
When the writer picked up the pen in the book of Isaiah, hallelujah, I heard, amen, the devil say, I will send unto heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will send also upon the mount of the congregation in the side of the mount, I will send Wait for the right choice. 
So I don't understand Adam standing right there with his wife, uh -huh. as the scripture said. And she just handed to him. Hallelujah. Was it because he loved her that much? Or was it because he had a desire to see what was on the other side? Hallelujah. People of God, walk with God. Don't be easily persuaded by the enemy. And the only way you can be strong is to stay in his word and develop faith. Because every time Satan come up against you, you have a word from the Lord to put back on him. Hallelujah. Oh yes, oh yes. You resist it. Don't listen to him. You know how it is sometimes, men and women. We look at somebody that looks good, smell good, might have good money, nice place to stay. Sometimes it blinds us to the danger that lies before us. And we can't see the enemy for the good picture that he has painted in this day is so great. Until we are blinded. And let me tell you, once you make that mistake, your eyes is open. Even in your mind, you realize, I made the wrong decision. Can we give God a praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Satan going to come to you and he's going to offer you things, beautiful things, things you desire. He will make it, put it in your mind that you desire to have it. He'll mess you up if you let it. But wait on the Lord. Allow God to order your steps. Amen? Hallelujah. And he'll strengthen your heart. Hallelujah. We praise God. Amen for everything that we have said and done today, even for this opportunity, Lord. You know, time seems like it's passing so fast. Now, here we are in the eighth month, and seems like it just began. Huh? We got to be about our Father's business, you all. We don't have long. And the only thing we do for Christ will last. This is your opportunity. To prove yourself to God that I am your disciple, that I am your child, and I'm here to do whatever you have me to do. Man, as we looked at our prayer list, I, man, I went by and visited a few people on, on yesterday that was been sick, and one told me, he said, you know, he been through all the radiation. Going through that other stuff, man. I got so much stuff to look at. He said, but you all, know, look at this morning. I felt good. He said, I felt great. He said, I didn't have the pain that was in my side. She threw the other side. I said, well, you know, I don't care how much radiation you take or how much anything you take. Guess what? God got the last. He is the healer. Hallelujah. He's the healer. So if you can't believe, I said, see, one of our weakest point in life is believing. If you have the, amen, mind of a mustard seed, the faith, God can move that mountain that's in your life. But do you have the faith to believe? Hallelujah. And we just praise God for all of the things that he has done. Praise God for keeping us from this COVID, from this um, other disease that they got seen like it's one plague after another. Hallelujah, but Jesus said, if my people that were called by my name, just do a couple of things. He said, you heal the land. And then when God said, it's not a whole lot, it's just a little bit. So let us stand as we prepare to go before God and pray. Hallelujah, every heart, everybody stand. Go for God in prayer, knowing that God can do anything but faith. Hallelujah. Today, praise God. By the power of God, everything that surrounds us is not like God. We cast it.
child of darkness. Where it belongs. Lord Jesus Christ. My God, my Savior. My all in all. Father God, we thank you for today, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for making the right choice for me. To choose you as our Savior. Father God, we thank you for how you are blessed the sick and afflicted. God, continue to bless, continue to strengthen them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we know you can do anything but fail, Lord. And your people are those that you have called out of darkness into the marvelous light. Oh God, knowing that next week, oh God, this month, they got to make some serious, amen, praise God choices. Oh God, but lead them and guide them the right way, Lord. Because we know all things lie within thee. Oh God, help us to continue, oh God, to believe and to minister and to preach the true word of God, Lord. Hallelujah, because we know that you are soon to return, Lord. Oh God, but give us that strength, oh God, to turn down the walls of sin, Lord. Oh God, and let your truth be trumpets throughout the land, Lord. And we give your name praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, we praise God. Amen. Today, and thank you, thank our listeners, our watchers. Amen. We praise God for you. Continue to support us with your views as we give God the praise and the glory.